Okay, hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 7 of our CSS tutorial. So, here we are continuing from where we have left. Okay, so we are going to talk about uh, CSS float. Okay, so floats are usually used to uh, position your elements, okay, left or right. Okay, so that uh, it, uh, you can get some layouts. So, first of all, a few things we need to uh, remember. So, floats are uh, an old technique uh, that was used for the alignment, but still there are some websites that are already using it. So, to understand those websites, we should know how the float works. And there are modern concepts called flexbox and grid. So, that is doing a better job than float. So, this is a recommended way to build the websites going forward. But it is still uh, essential to understand uh, what is float and how it works so that you know we understand the concept. So, in this video, we are going to see the four important things. So, basically for float, I have seen many different uh, you know tutorials and uh, resources and I try to consolidate everything and put into a single video for a better you know source. So here what we are going to do or with respect to float what we should understand is if element is getting floated okay that element will be removed from the document flow okay. So we are going to see all the points in action but let us try to understand what we are going to see. Also, uh, the floated element uh, will lose its height in the document. Okay, what does it mean? So, we will see. And uh, we need to clear the float so that the next element can start the document flow normally. And there are different ways to clear the float. So, let us see one by one in action so we understand more. Okay, so this time we are going to use a code pen uh, so that uh, it is easy to you know work with. We are not using our old editor. Anyway, so it's a plain page. So what we are going to do? So I'm just going to create a div with that class of box and red, and then I I put two more divs, and I say one is blue, another one is green. Okay. So here uh, the universal selector I'm going to say padding zero, margin zero, and uh, box sizing border box so these things we learnt already okay so here i'm going to say for the box class in general i will set the you no know, height property to 100 pixels okay and here for the red class let's have the background to red for blue class let's have the background to blue and for green class let us have the background to green. So now you can see since we put a height property each div gets a 100 pixel of height and it has the background color because of the background uh, classes it takes the complete width okay in the document. So if I specify a particular width then the div takes only the particular width. But still, the other elements still one by one uh, listed below, not coming in the side. Okay, so now we're gonna see how float works. So first, the first element I'm gonna say float to the right. When you do that, what happened? The first element goes to the rightmost corner, but the second element goes up. Okay, so this is the first property we told that uh, the float element will be removed out of the document flow. So, what is document flow? Before the float, all the elements are one by one. Okay, that is a document flow. Now, since we have floated the red element, the red element is removed from the document flow. So, the other element thinks there is no element above them, so it just moved up. Okay, now let us learn one more property. The blue element already, uh, which is on the left hand side, I am going to say float left. Now you can see the blue element is still on the left but the green element is gone. Why? Because the green element thinks that there is no element above it, okay, so above itself. So it just moved uh, a step above and it is behind the blue element now. Okay, if you want to see that basically what I can do on the green element, green element if I say mar margin left of 20 pixel then the green element will shift to the right. So that is why we are seeing the green is behind the uh, blue actually. Okay, So that is the first point. So the element is floated, it will be removed out of the document flow. Okay. Now the next, uh, let us understand the next one. Okay, The element floated will lose its height. What is that? So to understand that, let us go with the actual real world example. 
so let me delete all these things which we don't want and here also we don't want so generally the float a uh, common use case is to display an image and a text side by side okay what i mean is let's have a div with a class container it is going to have an image tag and one paragraph tag okay so for the image i took uh, some source from online let's have this rose image and for the paragraph let's have some random text so now you are seeing the image and the text one by one this is the normal document flow but if you want to change that let me tell that the image to float to the right so when i do that what happens the image goes to the right and immediately the text is coming on the side by okay so if i say float left then the image will come to the left the text will come on the side here you should understand the text is coming to the right because it thinks there is available space there okay so it is going there okay so now we 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 going to learn about the second point where we say the floated element will lose its height so to understand that what i'm going to do assume uh, i want a border of the container element i mean i want a border for the two element okay so we have a class container that contains this two element so i'm just going to say padding of 10 pixel just to give some space and then i'm going to say border 1 pixel solid so what we expect we expect the border to come of the two element right so let me tell you here if i have a, another paragraph okay and also another paragraph okay now you can see the border is coming around the element okay so it's also a march so you will see the border exactly okay so now you can see this is what we expect assume we want this to happen so we can say that okay now the border is coming around the two element i mean the border is coming around the container it's good but as we just saw if at all we don't have enough text to cover the image okay there is any little text then the border will be shrink okay so what is happening here so as i said the container element contains two sub elements which is image and the paragraph and since the image is floated it loses its height so the content will not be able to see the height of the image so it will think only it will it can only see the paragraph's height so it can expand only until the paragraph okay that's why the paragraph is bigger enough of your image then you will see the border correctly but if the paragraph is smaller or otherwise the container uh, has the element that is smaller than the floater element then the border will come only until that point now the, here is the issue right so you want the border to come cover the image also so uh, this is called uh, you know to fix this there is something called clear fix or otherwise called clear the float okay so but now we understand the concept of the floated element will lose its height on document okay so since the image is loses its height the container doesn't able to see the height and then uh, it expands only until the paragraph element okay now how do you fix this the simple fix is actually um, probably what they will do right so after the paragraph they will put on empty div tag okay that is no content just a div tag and they will give a sometimes they will give a hard coding style of clear both so this clear both means it will clear the float okay that is the concept so once the float is cleared the container element or the document will be able to see the complete width height so it will expand but this is a bad practice which is hard coding so some people will take a step and then have a class called uh, clear fix and they will uh, you know basically clear clear fix they will have uh, clear both okay so it will also work the same way but again this is not a good option because we are introducing a element which is of no use right we are not having any text in the div but we are using it okay so there is a better way to do it but before that let's let me also tell you another uh, uh, problem uh, of the float 
okay so okay uh, assume we don't want the border in our website or we don't want the border so if you take out the border it won't look bad okay okay it looks fine there is image there is a paragraph tag looks good okay now i want a footer okay to finish my page so let's go uh, after the div tag okay after the container i'm going to have a footer this is a footer okay so what we think the footer should come below the container element correct because that's what we defined the footer is defined after the div tag but it is coming side by side why because because the footer is unable to see the height of the image so it thinks there is available space so it is going to the right this is also a problem okay so to fix this also the clear fix solution is there so which means uh, if i introduce a div with uh, class equals to clear fix above whatever the element i want to clear then automatically the float will be cleared and the footer will come here okay but now as i said we are gonna do it in a better way uh, let me give us more for the footer let's have uh, basically you know footer. let's give uh, adding of 10 pixel and uh, background of some color it looks like a footer okay anyway so okay so now how do we do this without the empty div okay that's the point so let's take out the empty div okay now what we are going to do we are going to use a pro thing called uh, pseudo class okay um, so let's take the container div and we want a imaginary uh, element to be added or virtual element to be added using the CSS okay so how do you do that so basically let me take this container class and double colon after okay this is the pseudo class it says do something after the container uh, element okay so here the first property is content okay so if you can give anything for the content uh, uh, when whatever you give right that will come okay basically after the container now uh, I'm going to say display block to make this block level element and importantly here is the word clear both. So here what is happening as you can see the hello was before at this point when the float is not cleared it thinks there is available space here but when we clear the float it figured out that okay this image is also needs to be considered for the height it comes down okay now we um, to to achieve a result we can remove that uh, content let's have a blank so it doesn't appear and it looks like a normal uh, flow and also there is no extra div tag in the actual um, html elements okay and this is how the modern ways to clear the float okay and also they call it as clear fix so that is the thing which we want to cover in the last point the different ways to clear the float which is nothing but a empty div which we used but uh, as a better way we removed it and we added the same functionality using a pseudo class of after okay so now what we have understood the element floated will be removed from document flow we have seen with the box example element floated will lose its height we, we have seen with the image example and uh, we need to clear the float for the next next elements to start the normal document flow and also we have to clear the fix in a different ways so that is the end of this video so i hope now you have a good understanding of uh, what is float and how float works and what is clear the float clearing the float so i will see you in the next video with the next concept until then thanks for watching